I got interested in medicine uh, from a very young age. So uh, my dad's a pediatrician, my mom's a nurse, and I grew up working in their clinic. So I really started very young doing cleaning, uh, mowing, and doing a lot of stuff like that. And then I graduated to working the front desk. Um, so I answered phones, scheduled patients, pulled charts, that sort of thing. And then I got to come back as a med student. And so I feel like I really grew up in the clinic. Um, and you know, from my parents, my dad, my mom, I really learned how to be a good caring provider and to be patient-centered. I became interested in geriatrics a little bit later on in residency. Uh, I had a mentor who was a geriatrician and then he also worked as a hospitalist. And he's the one who kind of led me in that direction. And then I did a rotation in geriatrics towards the end of my, my residency. And by day two, I knew I'd really found my home and found my people. I was very, very attracted to the fact that we take care of the whole patient um, as well as their family. So it's counseling the patient, counseling their caregivers, and making sure everyone is taken care of. So I also really like how we focus on the quality of life for the patient on their terms. So what's important to them and how we can make their life better. So my interests, uh, particularly in geriatrics as well as a hospitalist, are transitions of care. So going from the hospital uh, to a nursing home or going home and how we can make that as safe as possible for patients, um, as well as polypharmacy. Polypharmacy is uh, being on a lot of different medications, and when that happens, there's a lot of interactions that can happen with those medications. It reduces compliance with medications, so if you're on more than a couple medications, you don't want to take all of them. Um, and so reducing that to make uh, patients better able to manage the medications they actually do need and then reduce side effects. So caregiver burden, uh, so that occurs when, especially in the geriatric population, it ends up being that someone is taking care of that patient, whether they have dementia or they're just very frail, elderly, that sort of thing. Someone's helping manage their medications, bathing, groceries, that sort of thing. And that can lead to a lot of burnout for, for the caregivers because it's very stressful. Um, studies have shown that they actually you know, have more issues with mental health and might actually live shorter too if caregiver burden isn't actually addressed. Um, so helping deal with that with the families of patients is something that's really important to me.